Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. Today I did this fall Thanksgiving inspired look and I am really digging it. Honestly, it is like six o'clock now I think and I did this look at 8 a.m. So I haven't touched it at all. I literally just got home and um, yeah, it's literally lasted me all day. If you want to see how I got this full Thanksgiving day look, then please keep watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am going to go in with this Flawless Brows. Um, it's what I use instead of like waxing or plucking my eyebrows. It does leave your face a little red once you're done, but I mean, if you conceal it, you can't tell. So you can get anywhere, like, I think they sell these at Dollar General. I got this one at Walgreens or Walmart. It's like $20. You can see this black. This is my Thanksgiving shirt. I, the reason I have it on is because this neck is super small and it's hard to get on so like I didn't want to have my full face makeup on and then pull it over my face and wipe all my face off and my lashes and I just ain't got time for that so I put it on and then I just put this little tie-dye sweatshirt thing on over it so we all know how my last video went I got a makeup on my shirt so gotta put that to start, I'm going to use one of my makeup remover wipes. Next, I'm going to go in with my NYX Color Correcting Primer. Um, got some red dust on my face, so definitely want to correct that. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. Today, I'm using Too Faced Born This Way, and I am in the shade Golden. Um, I'm not going to go in with like too much right now because you can always add but I don't like when we add too much. And today I'm going to be using the BS Mall Face Angled Brush um, just to blend it all out. I didn't mix two colors today. I didn't put it on the back of my hand. I usually only do that if I have to mix. I think this was honestly like almost the perfect amount so cool beans as my mother-in-law would say. Since I am going to be wearing my hair up today, I'm going to put a little bit on my ears just so they're not totally mistoned. I usually only do this if I'm wearing my hair up so if I'm wearing my hair down I don't need to worry about it. For concealer today I'm going to switch it up from my shape tape even though I do love it. I'm going to use the Anastasia Stick Foundation. The concealer I'm using is in Warm Tan. Um, this is a foundation stick, but it, you can also use it for concealer. So that's what I did before I had the shape tape, and I enjoyed it. But this is a really like creamy. I haven't used it in forever. blend all that out. I'm going to use a beauty blender. Spritz it with some Mario Badescu spray. When I'm blending my contour out, I always push it up. So I'm pushing it into my skin, but I'm also making sure that I push it upwards just to really make your cheekbone rise. I don't know if I said earlier the color I use in this. It's um, chestnut. Today is Thanksgiving. So, um, I am going to be doing like a Thanksgiving inspired fall look. I don't really know what I'm doing with my eyes yet. I haven't even thought of it. I'm just going to dig into a palette and make something happen. But yeah, I'm excited to prime my eyes for my um, eyeshadow. I always bring my concealer up over my eyes and pat it just to have a base there so to hold my eyeshadow better. So to contour my nose, I'm just going to go in with, I don't even know what brush this is. My parents got it for me for Christmas one year. I'm just going to take it on the stick and then just go place it on my nose where I want it. 
big and big one. So I always want to contour it to make a little smaller so I can do this job without having to pay for a nose job. So now we're going to bake. This has just helped my oil control so much. Like my face is so oily and by baking it just helps it keep the oil um, less apparent and just not existent I guess. Now to do the eyes. So like I said today is Thanksgiving so I'm wanting to do like a fall look. Darkish eye, darkish lips. My fiance is not the biggest fan of dark eyes and dark lips but it's Thanksgiving, it's fall, and I just want to do it. I'm going to be using my BS Mall brushes. I got these off of Amazon, some of my favorite. So to go in on my crease, I don't know what it is, but I never used to wear eyeshadow. Hated it with a passion, but I would say maybe over the last probably year, it's like I can't do my makeup without doing some sort of eyeshadow. And then I'm going to grab a smaller blending brush. This, I'm going to go in with this sweet mango and just bring it under my crease and then on the outer to the middle part of my lid. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm already liking how this is turning out. I can't decide if I want to keep it just real matte today with matte shades or if I want to use a shimmer or a glitter which I use it almost every single time I do my makeup but I can't help it I just love 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 shimmers and glitters I might even do eyeliner today and I never do eyeliner I hate it but I'm gonna try it you know now I'm going to go in with the same brush and let's do a teeny tiny bit of this afterlife. It's kind of a reddish brown, which I don't really use a whole lot, but we're gonna try it, you know? We're just gonna stay on the outer. Alright, now I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush. Um, this is a bit small one again, and I'm gonna go in with the color Chase. It's like a darkish brown. We're gonna go right on the bottom to the upper, so like where I have a V right here. Literally half the time you're doing your makeup, all you're doing is blending. So I think I decided I am doing a shimmer shade, so surprise. And now to kind of cut my crease, I'm gonna be using this, um, Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Then I'm going to get a flat brush. And you're going to take a little bit, not very much, you can always add. And I'm going to start in the corner of my and go to about um, half point and just use this as a um, base for my shimmer or glitter shade. Okay, now we've just created this base for our um, shimmer and glitter so that it'll be more shimmery, more glittery than you can ever imagine. Now I'm going to go in with another flat brush, but not as flat as the last one. This is a Luxie 249 brush. It actually is a two-ended brush. I'm going to be using the flatter shot side. And I'm going to go in and spritz the end of it and then go in with my shimmer just to make it um, set better. I'm gonna do this ember shade. It's like a pretty dark copper, if you will. I'm pressing this on to where we applied the eyeshadow base. And then to blend the copper shade to my dark part out here, I'm going to go in 
with a smaller ladder brush. I'm gonna spray it. Then I'm gonna go in with suede shade. It's like a, sh a brown shimmer, a dark brown shimmer. And just put it um, where the two meet to blend them together. Now um, I'm gonna go back in with a medium sized blending brush. It's the one we used earlier. I'm gonna go back in with that orange looking shade, which is actually called Layered. And I'm just gonna go blend out the top because I like this color and I want it to pop and just a blend. So we don't want any harsh lines. And like I said, I'm holding out the end of my brush so I'm not pushing hard at all. Just making circular motions. Then real fast, we're going to take a big fluffy brush um, and wipe off our powder. And then we'll go ahead and do the lower lash line real fast. You wanna really make sure you have it all wiped off because you don't want any flashback when you have family pictures on, you know, Thanksgiving, so. Okay, so now I'm going to take a, it's like a small, flat, I don't know, blending brush. And I'm just gonna go back in with all the shades that I used and go on my lower lash line. So first starting out with that layered color. I'm just gonna do that layered color all along my lower lash line, taking it pretty low actually. And then connecting it to the top. And then I'm just gonna stick with the same brush the whole time. Um, going with this sweet mango. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Next is the chase color. With the chase color, we're just going to do it about mid to outer, so we're not going the full lower lash length. So, yes, our eyes are done for the most part. Um, I am going to go in with a very, very small pointed BS small brush, and I'm just going to get brass color and just go in on the corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my, do my brows really fast. Now that I'm back, we are going to do one small layer of mascara, and then we're gonna do the rest of our face, and then our lashes. I'm using the Grande Mascara Lash Boost, Boost Formula. We just wanna get them all a little coated so they're standing up and not hanging down. We have our falsies or fake lashes on, whatever you guys call them these days. Oh. I have a really cool trick for you guys. I just got some mascara on my um, eyelid where my eyeshadow is. I will show you how to remove that later, so don't let me forget. Next, we're gonna go in and with our Becca bronzer. We're gonna go in with the Echo Tools um, Define brush. Just really define our contour. And you always want to put contour or bronzer or whatever you use where you want your areas to appear smaller or in a shadow. I have like the biggest forehead on the planet so I'm going to put this stuff all over my forehead. My fiance likes to make jokes about landing a plane on my forehead. He loves me. And bring this down over your double chin of course. Really get your jawline, make it real defined. Yeah, don't worry too much about my neck because it's going to be covered up with my turtleneck shirt thing, so. I'm going to go in with this big fluffy full face brush and just kind of buff that out a little bit so there's no harsh lines. Again, you're not pressing hard with this brush. You're just literally putting it on your skin and swirling it around. To set our face, of course, we're using the ever so wonderful 
Becca Hydro Mist face setting powder. I'm just gonna put this all over because we got food to eat. You know, you're gonna be trying to fit some food in your mouth, your face is gonna be creasing. And this is not gonna let that happen. And then this is gonna keep your oil control down. I'm gonna really go over your nose because I don't know about you, but that's the worst part of my face. Next, highlight, of course, as always, Anastasia Glow Kit. You can't ever go wrong with this, I'm telling you. I'm just gonna use a really flat, big brush today. I don't feel like using my highlight brush. I don't know why, I'm just changing it up today, you know? And since we did a fall leaf look, I'm gonna do bronze again, and I'm also going to go in with this Tourmaline? Tourmaline? I don't know how to pronounce it. Tourmaline. We'll do, we'll do that. So I'm going to go in with this bronze first. Dip that in this. But I went in the wipers brush, so we're going to switch it up again. Okay. We're going to go in with this face taper. This is what I used to highlight with. Much better. Oh my. God, I'm gonna be sparkling so hard the turkey's gonna get jealous. Mm. And then to go down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, reflect the turkey off of it. Keep it bow. And then kind of just whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna go above my brow, my chin. We'll do this flat. It's the Lexi 249 again. I didn't want to use this brush, but I can't find any other brush. So we're just going to go in with this with the one I can't pronounce. And we're going to go under our brow and just to really make that like pop and stand out. See the difference? All right, moving the heck on. Today's lashes going to be using I think I forever and will always use these lashes now that I've tried them on I love them it's they're the 601 lashes um, from the glamour variety pack again just using that strip lash adhesive I'm gonna go in and put my glue on them to get them ready So I'm going to be pulling down my real lashes to give me a little more room to apply my falsies. I'm going to take it and roll it a bit. I'm going to take these tweezers. I've never used these tweezers before, but I just got them, so we'll, hopefully they work. It helps if you hold in there and you look down applying them. That's just worked a lot better for me than just doing them straight ahead. Um, but you obviously do what works best for you. So yeah. You just push that right on the lash line. I hate when they get stuck to the freaking thing. Not sure if I'm liking these tweezers. They don't open up as far as my other ones, so I might switch, but you're cut. Come here, old reliable. Since my right eye is disobeying, we're gonna move on to my left eye. While that dries. Corners are the hardest part to make stay. Ready to listen to mama, huh? Okay, they're on, but the corners, you just never know about them. We're gonna do a lower lash. Lashes real fast. And then I'll show you how to remove the excess makeup that I got on the corner of my eye and on my lid. Super easy. I just noticed I didn't apply eyeliner like I said I was going to, but oh well. Now I'm gonna go in with my Superhero It Cosmetics Mascara. Go over my lower lash and then I'll blend the top together. I don't want a whole lot of product on my brush since I'm just blending them together, so I wipe some off. And I'm not running through my full lash and just 
trying to blend my real lashes to the falsies. And remove that stuff from my face. I'm going to take this little spoolie and just kind of go over any place where the makeup is I don't want it. Um, for lipstick today, I am using like the oldest color I have. It's LA Girls lipstick. I don't really know the shade, but it's like a dark brown. Hi, Bubbles. Wanna be on the tutorial? Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi. Where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Sorry if I made anybody dizzy with that, but he's so cute. So I'm done with my makeup. Now I just need to do my hair, change my clothes real fast for you, and then I will show you my. Makeup.